Good morning, this is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated, Jernita, morning headlines on March 7, 2023. Trump launches new 3AM Truth Social rant at Rupert Murdoch. The Independent, why Rupert Murdoch says he isn't liable for Fox News election lies. Schools and firms across Philippines shut as jeepney drivers start strike. Thank you for this, lifeguard praised for telling girl to leave San Diego Beach after bothering sea lions. Canadian siblings certified as world's most premature twins. Antigua and Barbuda to auction off $81 million yacht, owned by Russian oligarch. Dominic Raab's ex-colleagues speak out as bullying probe reaches final stages. Revealed, 1,000 super-emitting methane leaks risk triggering climate tipping points. UK among most liberal countries on divorce and abortion, survey reveals. Atlanta, Cop City, terror charges filed against 23 protesters. BBC, dozens face domestic terrorism charges in Atlanta after protesters clash with police. Sky News, police arrest 35, Cop City, protesters after equipment set ablaze and fireworks shot at training center site. The Independent, Atlanta police say group launched fireworks at offices. Reuters, green to introduce resolution declaring anti for a terrorist organization. Sex worker, survivor, Mary TV star, world's first transgender MP remembered as trailblazer. The Guardian, trailblazing transgender politician Georgina Bayer dies aged 65, BelfastTelegraph.co.uk. Belfast Telegraph, trailblazing transgender lawmaker Georgina Bayer dies at 65. The Independent, world's first openly transgender MP, Georgina Bayer, dies in New Zealand aged 65. Search launched for Americans seized in Mexico. BBC, search underway for four US citizens kidnapped at gunpoint after crossing Mexico border to buy medicine. Sky News, Mexico kidnapping latest, FBI offers reward for four Americans kidnapped in Matamoros as they are identified. The Independent, Americans in camper van kidnapped by armed men. The Times, American tourists kidnapped in Mexico while looking for cheaper tummy tuck doctor. Egypt archaeology, dig unearth smiling mini sphinx which may represent Claudius. BBC, sphinx-like statue and shrine discovered in southern Egypt. The Guardian, rare, sphinx-like Roman era statue with dimples and smiley face unearthed in Egypt. WION, smiley, dimpled sphinx statue unearthed in Egypt. Al Monitor, archaeologists in Egypt unearth sphinx-like Roman era statue from 2000 years ago. Man charged after attempting to open emergency exit door and stabbing attendant in neck on flight to Boston. Sky News, man charged over mid-air door and stabbing rampage. BBC, Lemster man charged with attacking flight attendants, trying to open emergency exit door on LA to Boston flight. The Boston Globe, Massachusetts man accused of trying to stab attendant and open door of United flight. Weather tracker, Northern Europe facing cold snap. The Guardian, snow and ice warnings appear but uncertainty continues in the Arctic plunge. Netweather, winters back as winds swing into the north bringing the threat of snow. IAEA chief qualifies claim that Iran will restore nuclear site monitoring. The Guardian, IAEA Iran visit opens window to restart nuclear diplomacy. Al Monitor, Iran's concessions to IAEA largely depend on future talks, Grossi says. Reuters, Netanyahu slams IAEA chief for saying attacks on nuclear facilities, outlawed. The Times of Israel, very concrete, very tangible steps made towards nuclear deal with Iran, IAEA chief says. Why did Alex Murdor kill his wife and son? Here's the motive presented by prosecutors. The Independent, why didn't Alex Murdor get the death penalty? His race and wealth, USA Today, Alex Murdor trial, live, Verdict shines spotlight on other mystery deaths as more jurors speak out. The Independent, opinion, was the Alex Murdoch guilty verdict too hasty. The New York Times, what's next for Alex Murdoch? About 100 fraud charges and a coming appeal. Dozens of bushfires spread as heat grips Australia's east. BBC, heatwave triggers NSW power grid fears. Daily Telegraph, Sydney swelters through autumn heatwave, bushfire threat looms. 
Reuters, Australia's east faces worst heat wave in two years as bushfires continue to rage. Spain $1.7 million wine theft, couple jailed for four years. Trump News, live, Trump rages at CPAC empty seats mockery as he posts about Murdoch at 3 a.m. on Truth Social. The Independent, at right-wing CPAC, Trump is everywhere. Reuters, defensive Trump insists CPAC speech was packed after Chris Christie led mockery over empty seats. The Independent, how are Trump supporters still doing this? The Atlantic, Donald Trump will, absolutely, stay in the 2024 race if indicted. Chinese Foreign Minister warns reckless US risks catastrophic conflict. Sky News, China Foreign Minister warns of potential for conflict with US and hails Russia ties. The Guardian, China warns US against suppressing it or risk conflict. EURACTIV, in first news conference, China minister lashes out at US. The Independent, China warns of potential conflict with US over containment strategy. France braces for pension reform strikes. BBC, France braced for huge disruption as transport workers start rolling strikes. The Guardian, EasyJet, Ryanair and Jet2 warning for passengers flying to France. Liverpool Echo, French strikes over retirement age move into higher gear. Financial Times, France faces standstill in protests against pensions overhaul. Russia-Ukraine war live, Zelensky vows to defend Bakhmut, China says Russia ties will go from strength to strength. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.